At the beginning of the movie, we see a young man named Vincent who is with his friend, and that time they had just robbed a drug dealer. During their escape, their car is suddenly chased by corrupt cops who happen to be the drug dealer's henchmen. Vincent's friend, feeling uneasy, pulls out his weapon and starts a shootout. Unfortunately, Vincent's friend loses the battle and loses his life at the hands of the corrupt cop. Witnessing his friend's lifeless body, Vincent comes to a halt, stops the car he's in, and another gunfight breaks out. Meanwhile, other police officers are closing in on them. Eventually, Vincent finds an opening and manages to take down his opponent. However, he is shocked to discover that the person he shot got a police badge on him. In short, Vincent is arrested and faces a lengthy sentence for allegedly killing a law enforcement officer. Vincent then goes through his time as an inmate, not forgetting his daily exercises as well. The next day, Vincent is attacked by another inmate who doesn't appreciate his presence. The scene shifts to a former combat soldier named Alex who has just woken up. Alex receives a call from a comrade informing him that his estranged son has been found. Excited by the news, Alex, who hasn't seen his son in five years due to their strained relationship, is pleased. It turns out that Alex's son is none other than Vincent, who is currently incarcerated. Upon learning that his son is in prison, Alex hurries to meet him. Upon arrival, Alex becomes slightly suspicious of the heavily armed guards behaving oddly. However, overwhelmed by his longing for his son, Alex dismisses these concerns as meeting Vincent becomes his top priority. Eventually, Alex comes face to face with Vincent. However, Vincent seems displeased with his father's presence, even insisting that his father leave immediately. Alex tries to be patient because he knows that Vincent harbors a deep hatred towards him. Alex expresses his intention to try and get Vincent out of prison. However, Vincent refuses the offer, stating that he wants nothing to do with Alex. The truth unfolds that Vincent resents Alex because his father used to prioritize his job as a combat soldier, neglecting Vincent and his mother. Even when Vincent's mother passed away five years ago, Alex didn't attend the funeral as he was on duty in a conflict-ridden country. Alex apologizes for the past, but Vincent promptly dismisses him, telling him not to come around anymore. Afterward, Alex goes to the bathroom to wash his face, as it turns out Alex shed tears upon hearing what Vincent said about him. At the same time, we are introduced to a convict named Max Chandler, who happens to be a mafia boss from America. It's known that Chandler has eliminated dozens of people, including three guards inside the prison. Currently, Chandler is applying for parole, as he has been behind bars for several years. However, when the officers raid Chandler's file, it becomes apparent that he is an extremely dangerous individual, because just five days ago, Chandler killed another inmate sharing his cell. Due to his violent behavior, the authorities outright reject his parole request. On the other hand, it turns out that Chandler's henchmen have infiltrated the prison by disguising themselves as guards. One of them is seen setting up a bomb. Furthermore, a female guard in the courtroom turns out to be Chandler's accomplice. Without hesitation, she eliminates everyone in the courtroom, followed by the huge bomb explosion. The inmates immediately panic as they realize that the prison is no longer safe. Meanwhile, Alex, still in the restroom, becomes a victim of the explosive debris, causing him intense pain. On the other side, Chandler's right-hand man enters the control room and ruthlessly eliminates the guards. After taking over the control room, he informs Chandler that they have full control of the prison. Upon learning this, Chandler announces to the inmates that they have two options. First, they are free to escape from the prison. Second, they can join Chandler's group and will be rewarded with money. However, Chandler warns that he won't hesitate to eliminate anyone who opposes him. Afterward, Chandler creates a video to be delivered to the government. In the video, Chandler requests the release of his family, who are imprisoned in another facility, and demands $50 million along with a helicopter. If his demands are not met, Chandler threatens to destroy the entire prison, and he also would kill his hostages. At the same time, Alex is seen searching for his son. He encounters one of Chandler's henchmen, whom he initially mistakes for a prison guard. Shortly after, the henchman attacks Alex. Fortunately, Alex manages to defeat him. Following this, Alex proceeds to another room, but once again has to confront two more of Chandler's henchmen near the restroom. 
The scene shifts to the inmates who want to join Chandler's group. Surprisingly, Vincent also expresses his desire to join them. Here, Chandler attempts to ask some questions, but one of the African-American inmates seems to be seeking approval and attention from Chandler. Instead of showing sympathy, Chandler, who dislikes psychophants, does this to him instead. <laughs> Afterward, Chandler instructs his right-hand man to take the inmates to the weapon room in the prison warehouse, as he is confident that the police will arrive soon. Indeed, outside the prison, police forces have gathered to negotiate with Chandler. Back to the inmates who have arrived in the weapons room, and they are allowed to choose any weapon. Initially, Vincent refuses to take a weapon because the last time he used one, it was to eliminate a police officer. Chandler's right-hand man, upon hearing this, smiles and offers Vincent a weapon, saying that he should do it again. On the other hand, the police chief tries to contact Chandler to inform him that Chandler's demands to the government might experience some delays. Hearing this, Chandler immediately fires his weapon towards the floor. Here, Chandler lies, claiming that he has just killed three hostages, and if his demands are not met within four hours, he will add to the body count. The scene then shifts to Alex, who is encountering two of Chandler's henchmen, and without hesitation, Alex takes them down. After that, Alex walks into another room and notices Vincent with the other inmates. Here, Alex realizes that Vincent has chosen to join Chandler's group. While on the other hand, Vincent, aware that his father is behind the wall, quickly urges the other inmates to leave and join Chandler. However, after Vincent leaves, Alex decides to attack the remaining inmates using a smoke grenade. In fact, Alex doesn't hesitate to eliminate some of the inmates. On the other side, we see Vincent chatting with Chandler. Here, Chandler asks about the reason Vincent ended up in prison. Vincent replies that he killed a police officer. Hearing this, Chandler is impressed with Vincent, because it turns out Chandler also strongly dislikes law enforcement. According to Chandler, law enforcement deserves to be eliminated, especially since they dare to imprison his family and disrupt his business. Not long after that, one of the inmates comes to report that he has just been attacked by a man. In fact, many of the inmates and Chandler's henchmen were also eliminated by him. Hearing this, Vincent remains silent because he knows that the man is his father. Meanwhile, Chandler immediately contacts the police chief because he thinks the person who attacked his group is part of the police force. Here, Chandler once again intimidates the police by pretending to shoot his hostage. In a nutshell, Chandler gathers his remaining henchmen. Here, Chandler appears furious because there are only a few of them left. Then, he orders them to find the perpetrator who attacked them. He even promises to give $1 million to anyone who can kill the culprit. At the same time, Alex contacts the police chief because, coincidentally, the police chief is his friend. Here, Alex informs him that he is inside the prison to save his son. Hearing this, the police chief asks Alex not to act recklessly because Chandler has already eliminated many hostages. Alex mentions that so far, he hasn't found any hostages, and it's possible that Chandler is just bluffing. After that, as Alex is about to go to another room, he is caught by one of Chandler's henchmen, a large man, leading to a fight between them. Shit. Fortunately, due to Alex's much greater experience in hand-to-hand -hand combat, he manages to defeat the big guy. Alex also makes sure to take the henchman's communication radio. When Alex is leaving the room, he is unexpectedly attacked by Vincent. Here, Alex tries to ask Vincent to calm down because, after all, he is Vincent's biological father. Then, Alex says that what Vincent is doing now is wrong. Alex also pleads with Vincent so that the two of them can leave the prison right away. However, Vincent, who has fallen under Chandler's influence, refuses his father's invitation. In fact, Vincent doesn't hesitate to shoot Alex in the leg. Vincent explains that he will remain loyal to Chandler. Meanwhile, Alex retreats to a back room, quickly tending to his gunshot wound. Shortly after, Chandler tries to contact his henchman, the big guy from earlier. However, he is surprised to find Alex answering the call. Here, Chandler suggests that Alex should leave the prison before his henchman finds him and turns him into mincemeat. Hearing this, Alex defiantly challenges Chandler, stating that a loser like Chandler is not a formidable opponent for him. Fifteen minutes later, Alex is contacted by the police chief, 
who informs him that the SWAT team will soon surround the prison and eliminate the entire Chandler gang. Upon learning this, Alex pleads with the SWAT team not to harm Vincent, his son. However, the police chief responds that the SWAT team will eliminate anyone associated with the Chandler gang. This means that, willingly or not, Alex must first get Vincent out before the SWAT team arrives. Afterward, Alex accidentally encounters one of Chandler's henchmen, leading to a shootout between them. Having eliminated Chandler's henchmen, Alex now has to face Chandler's right-hand man. Despite being injured, Alex is not afraid to confront him, leading to an intense brawl. On the other side, Chandler is seen contacting the police chief. Chandler again threatens that if the pickup helicopter doesn't arrive within five minutes, he will destroy the prison using all his bombs. Hearing this, the police chief instructs Chandler to go to the rooftop as the requested helicopter is about to arrive. Unbeknownst to Chandler, the helicopter sent by the police chief already contains the SWAT team ready to eliminate him. Later, Chandler takes Vincent to the rooftop, intending to make Vincent his new right-hand man. In a twist of events, when they reach the rooftop, Chandler suddenly points his gun at Vincent, revealing that he already knew Vincent's biological father, Alex, was the one who slaughtered all his henchmen. Vincent expresses his indifference towards Alex, despite him being his father, as he harbors deep hatred. Eventually, Chandler believes him. However, at that moment, Alex appears, and they find themselves in a standoff, pointing guns at each other. Alex pleads with Chandler not to take Vincent, but Chandler, using his last bullet, shoots Alex without hesitation. Seeing his helpless father, Vincent is overcome with compassion and immediately embraces Alex. In this moment, Alex expresses his deep love for Vincent, stating that he would sacrifice anything for him. Eventually, Vincent realizes this, and he turns the gun in his father's hand toward Chandler, shooting him. When attempting to shoot a second time, it turns out Alex's bullets have run out, giving Chandler the chance to board the extraction helicopter, unaware that SWAT is already inside, ready to apprehend him. Following this, Vincent leads Alex out of the prison, and their relationship appears to be on the mend. The police chief expresses joy at Alex finally saving his son, and by that, the movie finally concludes. So, what do you think of this movie? Did you enjoy the recap? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. One like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video to your friends and family too. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.